this is Joe Pugh for IFL TV here with Dev Sarney. Dev, have you lost your tyre today? Oh, do you know what I thought? Because normally I do like a, either a t-shirt or like a, one of those high neck jumpers. But today I went with the open shirt. I've seen oh, yeah, people look quite cool doing it. I was, I was hoping I looked the same until you've hit me with all this. You look like you've had a rough night and all of that stuff. Joe, what are you, what are you doing to me? <laughs> well, what are you doing to me? Nothing like what AJ done to you, mate. Did he stick it on you or what? How was you feeling when he kind of dismissed you and was like, "You're not my promoter"? No, I, f I think he sent me to hell, really, didn't he? I mean, all, all you could, all you can do is really, uh, really take it and uh, and enjoy it and learn from it. And I will tell you what, oh, that's gonna that's gonna be the making of Dev Sarney. He's had a former two-time unified world heavyweight champion stick it on him, say, "I ain't answering your questions. You're not my promoter." Uh, and also say I uh, I have no steer on his career, uh, of which he is correct. I just said, oh, maybe you'll fight Miller one day. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> but that being said, you can now claim that you're the man that brought Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren on the same stage, yeah? I mean, essentially, yes, I did sort of announce them both onto the stage. So uh, I guess you can say that really the man who's done that is His Excellency Turkey Al <laughs> Sheikh, who's, who's putting on this show and backing this show and, uh, you know, alongside Queensbury. And they're, they're, they're doing quite magical things. But, but Joe, honestly, mate, I'm going to I've got to go and watch that back. That was quite a historic presser. I mean, per, on a personal note, in Riyadh, I was looking down the other end of the table at Mike Tyson, you know, that was just yeah. mad, and John Fury next to me pointing right in front of me, and now I've got, got AJ sort of mugging me off in front of the world, you know, I've got Frank and Eddie there as well, what a life, what a life Joe, come on. It don't get better, in all seriousness, no, in all seriousness, we can laugh and joke about that, but for you it must be something special to do everything in Riyadh with Mike Tyson, and now be up on the stage with probably what is the biggest card of all time top to bottom could be it may well be that's certainly what what i've been saying it's right up there with uh, the magnificent seven this saturday night live on tnt sports don't forget six o'clock we're live do not forget that one nick ball at dog bay but yeah look it's a tremendous tremendous show i can't believe it top to bottom so much talent one of the strongest ever ever all those heavyweights a lot of them can beat each other a lot of them want to fight each other a lot of them will fight each other I mean, and it's all going to happen in Riyadh. Riyadh's the place to make this happen, and uh, wow. Just wow, Joe. Come on. Did you ever think you'd be sitting at a table, well, trying to ask questions to Anthony Joshua, <laughs> and kind of just talking with Eddie Hearn, the opposition? Uh, no. <laughs> to be honest, absolutely not. It, it was very surreal. Um, I half expected a frosty response from Anthony Joshua. <laughs> Uh, you know, you sort of get the vibe as, as they sit down. Wilder was all smiles, you know, he, he sort of gave me a bit of a hello and, and the rest of them as well. Uh, AJ was pretty, pretty cold. So, uh, yeah, did I expect that? No. Did I enjoy it? Absolutely. I feel like you got a buzz off that. Like, a little bit, a little strange, but I feel like you got a buzz. Um, it's a talking point. It's a talking point, right? And that's, that's what you can hope for from press conferences. Press conferences are designed to generate talking points. I never expected I would be one of them, but hey, if I am, it's not on me. I haven't done anything. <laughs> I need to watch this back because I haven't seen it, but did you hear at the start of the press conference a little altercation? Because that's what it sounded like from from the uh, where I was watching it between Joseph Parker and Daniel Dubois. Really? I might have got this really wrong, but we was all watching it at the front and it sounded like they were having some cross words. Great, if so. I mean, two, two of the nicest blokes yeah. you, you'd ever meet. I mean, they were linked to fighting each other, potentially on this show. Um, it could have happened. Maybe it will happen one day. Great if Daniel Dubois suddenly got needle with uh, one of the nicest men in the world in Joseph Parker. That's tremendous news. So uh, hopefully we see it one day. Again, a few of us thought we heard that whilst we were sitting there watching it, but I cannot confirm that. And finally, did you get off put at any time by Derek Chisora, who was constantly trying to interrupt the press conference? Yeah, initially, at the start, a little bit. Um, I was like, oh, who's, who's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it is Del Derek. Boy. It's Del Boy. Of course, he, he's here. That, that, that's what he does. He does shout things out from pressers, and it's normally quite fun. So, uh, a little bit at the start, I was like, who's that? But... By the end, by, by the sort of 18th time, I was, I was quite used to it. <laughs> Excellent, Dev. Thank you very much for being to IFL TV and congratulations on uh, what was an excellent press conference hosted by yourself. Thank you.
Thanks, thanks for saying that. I, I don't know how great it was yet. I'll have to watch it back, but it felt, felt okay. You handled the AJ thing better than a lot of people would. So, well done, mate. Thank you very much. Thank